Hey everyone, this is Aralyn Sherry, and welcome to episode 266 of the 3 Minute Mantra Podcast, where we come back to the present moment for just three minutes, sing a Sanskrit mantra, connect with our voice and our body. I put out a new mantra every week on Sundays, and then you can go back every day and listen to it if you wish to practice that way. This week's mantra is just the word OM. And you all may know that OM is known as the primal sound of the universe. And so it's just a really nice uh, word to come back to, to focus on with that. It's really easy, OM. But something um, I started learning from my teacher, Leanna Shanti, was that she would always say in the beginning was the word. And that's the source of creation. I didn't always understand that. I didn't understand sound and frequencies and things like that until I started learning more about quantum physics from Leanna and then reading some books and everything. I didn't understand the whole concept of um, everything in the universe being sound, being a different frequency, even light has a frequency and is a sound. And then that translates out into everything basically being music. <laughs> and, you know, I, I started thinking about these things. And if you haven't thought about that, you know, you might be like, whoa, I don't know. Um, but I just started thinking about those things. Of course, most of it doesn't make any sense to me at all. But just when you think about OM being the primal sound of the universe, you can just start exploring, like, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, what does it mean if everything is created from sound? And then like, what, what is the vibration of unconditional love, this primal source of sound, the creationary um, source? So those are the things I think of. And then, you know, and then to me, it's helped me understand how when they say everything is connected, that it, it just helps me make more sense kind of in a grounded manner, whereas used to, it used to be kind of like all out there and like I'd hear those things and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But, you know, I'd still didn't understand. So anyway, so that's what I think of when I think of Ohm as well. So I just <laughs> thought I'd give you an idea, <laughs> lots of stuff to think about. But as always, I just go back to my heart. Om is unconditional love, and so that is what I wish to feel in my heart. So I'm always asking to clear everything that is not unconditional love in my body when I chant mantra. So we're just going to sing Om over and over and over and again for three minutes. Here we go. Om. 